Hi, Lamas. It is like 6 a.m. We're here at the shrine. We're gonna go do some meditation. I can't film in there, unfortunately, but we're gonna meditate for about an hour or so. I've never done this before, so I'm a little bit nervous because I'm pretty sleepy, but let's see how it goes. up the meditation at Kimpusenji here. It was my first ever time doing a Buddhist meditation. It was very interesting. I didn't think that I was ever able to relax, but I was. Um, I did get lost in the book at one point and I was looking around. I'm like, I swear I must have like a different copy or something. And then I went and offered the incense to the Buddha and came back and realized I had picked up the book the other way around because it was double-sided. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It was really nice. I was actually a kid there and um, his, uh, his feet fell asleep and when he tried to stand up, he just collapsed, which is pretty funny if you're, if you're sitting like traditional style. But yeah, I'm not at all religious, but that was a very beautiful and somewhat overwhelming experience. I did tear up at one point. I don't know why, just religion makes me feel some kind of way, no matter what religion it is. If you ever get a chance to come to a temple and to pray and to meditate with Buddhist monks, no matter what your religion, I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. That was, that was an experience. We're currently traveling between Nara Prefecture to Mie Prefecture and I found some banana like clear drink, it's banana milk, but it's clear drink. But let's give this a try. It smells like banana milk, like you, I've just pushed banana milk. <laughs> That's so weird. It smells better than what it tastes. Like it smells like proper banana milk. It just tastes like banana water. Um, one out of ten would not recommend. <laughs> Look how red I am, holy shit. We're at the Ama Hut, which is like an old traditional style hut. And it is, it's 36 degrees outside. And we have a fire going inside here with some fans. It's crazy hot in here, so excuse my face. The owner, whose name is Neiko. Neiko. Please call her Neiko. So Ama is a female diver and they live off the seafood that they catch themselves. Like, actually, they catch themselves. This practice of diving started like 2,000 years ago and the owner here, she is 86 and she started uh, practicing when she was about 10 years old. So she says she has 76 years of professional diving experience.
finished up here at Shima Marine Land and I told you I'll give you guys my honest opinion and I wasn't 100% happy with the facilities they had here. I didn't film it because I thought uh, I didn't want to give the time of day to it but there was a spiny, spiny back, spiny tail lobster that was way too big for its tank and I, I did complain. Um, and they said, yes, we know, he's growing so fast. And I said, we'll move him to a bigger tank. And they're like, yeah, oh, yeah, we will, we will, we will. And then another girl on um, the tour came along and complained as well. So that's really good that we are, uh, we said something. I'm sorry, like I have to say something about animal cruelty. Um, they also had these little crab, um, crab area where there was all these tiny little crabs. Sorry, I'm on the bus now. There was these tiny little crabs and you could like fish for them. They had little hooks on them and you could just pick the crab up and put it back down and do it over and over again. And, and they said like, oh, people do it all day long, so maybe they're tired. I'm like, leave them alone. Maybe they shouldn't be doing it then. So yeah, that's my opinion. Those are two negatives I had to say. Um, also, there was a lot of, you know, those touching areas where you can like touch the stingrays and everything like that. Um, and, so, and you're allowed to pick up the crabs. You're allowed to touch the octopus and everything like that. So yeah, I don't know. And the penguins were standing outside in the sun. I really see I'm pretty aquariums aren't my number one thing to do yeah themed ship that kind of just like goes around the bay area here the view is insane of the water and the mountains and uh, it's a really fun ship uh, it's really cool i've never been on a ship like this before